Well, hey, Terry, where are we at today? We are at uh, Gardner, Montana. We're ready to watch the wild horses through town. Yeah. They pass. <laughs> Well, hey, welcome back to Next Trekking Adventure. And you can see behind us, we're in Yellowstone. We've arrived. We've arrived. So we want you to follow us. We're spending the season in Yellowstone National Park, and we're going to show you what you should do when you're in Yellowstone. Right. Well, welcome back to another episode of Next Trekking Adventure. And if this is your first time watching us, we are full-time travelers living and working in Yellowstone National Park for the season. We started our day in Grant Village, and we made the drive up to Gardner, Montana to watch the wild horses go down Main Street. It's about a two-hour and ten-minute drive. But along the way, you're going to see some cool things like bears, elk, bison, and whatever animals are in the national park. So don't miss out on this epic adventure that we took to Gardner, Montana to watch the wild horses go down Main Street. This is Miss Terry's favorite time of year to be in Yellowstone because of all the baby animals. Spring is a perfect time to come to Yellowstone to see bears and their cubs. Well, Google Maps might say two hours and 10 minutes, but with all the animals in the road, it's probably gonna take you a little bit longer. Before you get to Gardner, Montana, you'll arrive in Mammoth. And Mammoth is a great Yellowstone community. It's one of the original ones with some historic buildings and a must-see visitor center. So if you're going to go to Gardner, make the stop. Since you're here, you might as well go and check out the thermal features that are right there in Mammoth. But we had a horse drive to get to, and we didn't want to miss out, so we hustled down to Gardner, Montana, where the most famous Yellowstone entry is at. You can still drive through the Roosevelt Arch. It's just before the park itself. The arch commemorates the creation of the world's first national park, as set on the arch created by Act of Congress March 1st, 1872. Top of the arch, famously written for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. Well, hey Terry, where are we at today? We are at uh, Gardner, Montana. We're ready to watch the wild horses through town. Yeah. Did I pass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, this morning we left Grant Village, saw 
two bears, and we're gonna show you that, or we've showed you that. And uh, we came to Gardner because they have a special, really cool thing, and we're gonna take you guys along with us all day and into the night because this is gonna be totally awesome. It's gonna be uh, horses down Main Street, super cool. They're gonna ride them up to what town? Uh, Jardine. Jardine. And up in Jardine, there's gonna be a barbecue, an open bar, a dance, some music. Auction. An auction. And I'll tell you what, if you don't watch this episode, you're missing out. Yeah. All right, okay, so we gotta go. We can't keep talking to you guys because we gotta set up for the parade. We gots to get ready, people. That's right. Yeah. It's gonna be a full day of fun, so come along with us and have some fun. Okay, so we got our spot. We're here on Main Street, and uh, we're about 14 minutes away from the Stampede. Hey, go! Yes. The streets are lining up. And the cowboy hats are lining up. <laughs> Get up here. another view <laughs> as I try to hold my camera still as the horses are coming very close and we're scrambling to get out of the way. This is an exhilarating experience. It's a must do if you're in Yellowstone in May, if you're in Montana or anywhere near Yellowstone, late May, look up the hills of Roaring Horse Drive. It's a must see people. This is exhilarating and as fun as it gets in the wild, wild west of Montana. So if seeing a lot of bears isn't your motivation to come in late spring to Yellowstone, <laughs> come to the Gardner Hells a Roaring Horse Drive. It's a fundraiser. Bring your camera and your dancing boots and help them raise money for veterans and first responders it's a family fun event. The horses and cowboys and cowgirls race through town and up to the town of Jardine, about five miles up the road. There is plenty of opportunity for getting some great pictures, or you may just want to enjoy watching the herd run by. You can follow them up to Jardine, the rodeo grounds where the real fun begins. The auction, the dance, and the food. It's a lot of fun. We attended it. Stay with us. We're going to show you all of that. So that was pretty cool. They had a hard time keeping the horses under control. They're going five miles out of town to the next town, getting them up into their summer range. So the idea is they're moving them out of the winter range and into the summer range. But this is a great little hotel that you can stay in if you're in Gardner, Montana. A super clean, super cute, right in the middle of town. Let me take you inside. Give me a little tour. Bed. Yeah. And you would think, oh, okay, this is cute. Kitchen area. Super cute. Stocked coffee. We have one of these. <laughs> cute bathroom. But 
look, there's another bedroom back here. Oh my goodness. And we got to use your Zantera discount. Yeah, so Zantera employees, how much of a discount did we get? 10%. You get a 10%, but the guy gave me a little extra. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't have people with us right now because this is a nice room. We could have had two beds. There's a queen. A king. And a king. Yeah, I love this. About how much of a night per night is it? Normally? Yeah. 369 I think. Yeah, 369. Which in at the edges of the national park is about the going rate. And this is about as nice as they come. And it's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it's a holiday. Can't weekend even believe event. we got it. So we got about a hundred dollars off. Okay, so we made it to uh, Jardine. Jardine. <laughs> so we're here in uh, Jardine, Montana. This is just out of Gardner, so what, six miles? Uh huh. Up a gorgeous road. It is gravel, but it's a pretty cool drive. Um, and so we're going to take you into the event here and uh, show you what they are doing here today. Yeah. But this is our first time too, so I'm just taking it all in. Yeah. Just super cool all the smells all the views <laughs> uh, we got a tip to drive all the way up there to the top and the views are more beautiful than this yeah so. there's a lot of cars driving up to the top so but we're gonna go in here and check things out yeah It was $25 a person uh -huh. to go in. Uh huh. Dinner. Dinner and beverages, right? Uh huh. And then uh, they have a big raffle. And it goes to charity, to veterans. Yeah. I hope we don't win a horse. Yeah. So <laughs> if we want something, we're probably going to re donate it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, we're going to take you guys inside and show you around. Yeah, let's go. So hey, what's the size of your graduating class? Mine? Yeah. Or this year? Well, this uh, my, year. My class is 13, this year is 16. So All right. Too cool. There you are, man. Awesome, thank you. Would you like anything? No, we want you to sell it to somebody else. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't need it. So somebody else does. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Have fun. Thank you. Well, if you've been following Next Trek Adventure, you know that we like giving back. We love supporting small town communities and small town organizations. We also like supporting veterans and first responders. And that's what this charity was all about. This community comes together every year to support veterans and first responders. 
and we can't get more behind this type of charitable activities and charitable donations so we're all in okay well we've got our adult beverage and uh, we went through the auction area we bought some raffle tickets it's 50 bucks for six don't really care what the raffle is no we probably don't have room for it in the rv <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we'll we'll see what it is. Miss Terry's hoping we in, we win a, a horse or something. I think. <laughs> so it'd be fun for the season. Yeah, <laughs> we have a little bit of a horse for the season. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna show you guys the horses, walk around a little bit more, and uh, tonight there's a barn dance. Yeah. So we're gonna hang out here long enough for a barn dance to cut a rug or kick up the dirt. Yeah. Kick, kick the, the dust, dust up. up. Do, do, ah. do, do, kick the dust up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, stay with us. A lot of cowboy hats, huh? How do I look in my cowboy hat? You look good. Ooh, I look good. I Miss forgot Terry, mine. Miss Terry says I look good in cowboy hat. I forgot mine. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow I'll wear it. Yeah, tomorrow. She's not a good person. All right. There's the rodeo bowls up there. <laughs> Some mules over here. Looking stubborn. We went through the line. There you go. The cowboy hat cookie. Uh, Montana cookie. Hot dog, steak, potato salad. What's that cookie supposed to be? We're not sure. We're not. We're not sure what it is. And we'll give you a look. If you like our content, we ask that you like and you subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures. We are full-time travelers in and out of our RV. We happen to be work camping in Yellowstone National Park for the season. It's a different experience for Next Trekking Adventure, but we're having a blast and enjoying sharing our adventures with you on our YouTube channel, our Instagram page, and our Facebook page. We had a great time in Jardine, Montana, at the auction, at the dance, at the wagon feed. And we recommend that if you're traveling, you participate in some local activities and do some local things. I promise you it'll enrich your lives and the lives of the people you meet. But we're going to leave you now with this view as we drive out the North Gate. But we'll see you on our next trekking adventure. Enjoy the views of the North Gate entrance. <laughs>